I'm Gina Terrace here from Built to Win Coaching, and today's letter is from a baseball player. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Gina, I was wondering if you could help me figure out why my season has been going so badly. Oh, gosh, here we go. I was on track to break all kinds of records, and this is the year that I really needed to perform well for a variety of reasons. So many things went wrong in my life this year, but I don't see why they would affect my baseball game. I'm scared to death that I may finish my baseball career never reaching my potential. Everyone is telling me what to do, but no matter what, I can't seem to relax out there and find the zone. What can I do now? I'm beginning to lose hope, and I'm running out of time. Oh my God, it's such a terrible situation. All right, take a deep breath. And you said a lot of things in this letter. Number one, dwelling on the question, why is my season going so badly, is the wrong question. The right question is, how can I turn this around quickly and be myself again? Um, number two, oh, this is a season that I had to perform really well. When we put outside pressure on ourselves to perform a certain way, and we change all the dynamics and all the meaning of what we already know how to do. That's called interference. And so we talk about your performance being your potential minus interference. So if you've got all this interference, this conflict going on, it robs your energy. Listen, you only have a limited amount of energy. So if you've got energy uh, rolling around over here trying to work on the outcome and things that you cannot control, then that is going to affect your performance. Uh, so what we do in EFT is we address what you meaning you're attaching to what's going on. Ideally, we want you in the moment. Um, doing what you already know how to do to really strengthen your automatic response of perfect form, uh, uh, relaxed and confident, um, uh, powerful, more accurate than I've ever been. All of the things that you choose, you want to reinforce that. But here's something that you want to understand. Uh, many, so many things went wrong this year. And I don't know why they'd affect my baseball game. Because those things are called trauma. They're taking up energy. They created an emotional state. And, and that state, which is very disempowering, is being triggered by a lot of stuff that you're going through. So the very effect that you don't want to get is what you're reinforcing. The four elements that make you recognize trauma, and these are the things that are messing with you right now, or that something happened that was unexpected. Number two, it was dramatic. So uh, you had an emotional response to something that, you know, you felt violated uh, as far as what your expectations were. And number three, you felt alone and isolated, like nobody was understanding just what you were going through in that sort of trauma. And number four, you didn't know what to do. There's no strategy. Life didn't prepare you for what, what you faced. And um, then, you know, sometimes it happens. Like, you feel like, oh, my gosh, when it rains, it pours, and there's all this stuff. Plus, there's the stress of knowing, oh, my God, I have to perform now. And so all those things are disempowering. Then everybody's telling you what to do. We know um, how that is for a player. Everyone's got an opinion. You, the people closest to you, all your coaches. So what do you do? How do you turn it around? Well, this has parts got to stop where uh, I'm beginning to lose hope and I'm running out of time. Okay, so you have to clear the effects of that trauma. You hold all that memory and kind of a snapshot of emotion, and, and it's literally lodged in your nervous system. Depending on the trauma, um, it deals with your body differently, or your body deals with it differently, and it will affect you differently. But at whatever level it is, we want to go in and change your body's response to the memories, to the images, to the emotions, to what is lodged there. 
then we want to go in and change the dynamics to what you're reading as stress and negative energy from everyone that's got these opinions and uh, what has to happen and, and the scouts that are looking at you. It really absolutely has no meaning when you are standing on the mound or he plays both ways, I know, when you're hitting. It's baseball. That is your home. That's what you do. That's where you find your power. You can uh, reframe everything from those elements that are all playing into your anxiety until that they, they no longer pull from your energy, but they, they let all your energy flow congruently. It's very important that you do that. It, yes, you might be running out of time, but you can turn it around. Um, so we'll clear what you're doing by having set up phrases that say, even though this is not what I asked for, um, and we'll go in and find out what, what's going on, acknowledge the emotion, um, offer acceptance, create an empowering choice, tap on target so we change your body's response to the trigger, and help you regularly move forward. So, it's not the end of the world. I promise you can't turn it around. But you have to want to. You have to be able to be honest enough with yourself to say, all right, I'm willing to at least explore this stuff that felt so crappy and change my response to it. And we can do that in ways that you don't ever have to tell me what it was. I promise. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can change your response to the memories. And you want to move back into a place of faith. Because according to your faith, ultimately, it's going to be what you get. We don't get what we deserve. Um, we get ultimately what we expect. And you've heard me talk about faith and fear and the power that they have. So we'll move you from fear to faith. It's okay. You can do it. So, um, anything else? Oh, we'll, we'll re reshift all those four things about the elements of surprise and the drama and the isolation and the um, lack of strategy. All those can change. Then the trauma is eliminated. And it will, we want to make sure that happens before you find yourself injured because sometimes your body will take up the whole emotional aspect. So, don't worry. If you want to know uh, some resources, I have some resources that, that can help you. If I can help you, we'll get there faster. Hey, I'm Gina Paris reminding you whether your game is athletic, financial, or personal, we want you built up to win it. So you keep playing hard, and I'll be right here in your corner. God bless.